Now for the real question. How many boards can I make it through? Uh, 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 What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna have some fun with the elephant guns and the pine board box. I've shot the pine board box with a lot of different calibers and I haven't used it in quite a while. Here recently, a lot of you have requested that I shoot it with the elephant guns. So that's what we're gonna do today. I haven't broke this thing out in a long time and I know some of you don't even know what it is. So let's go check it out and then we'll get started. So here's the pine board box. For you kinfolk that have been around a long time, you know exactly what this is, but there's a lot of you who have never seen it before, so let me explain real quick. This thing holds 41 pine boards that measure three-fourths of an inch thick. I've got it loaded up with fresh boards. We're gonna shoot down the center, and then you're gonna see how many boards each round makes it through. The last time I shot this thing, I used a 338 Lapua and a 50 BMG. The 50 went downward and tore up the box. I fixed it, it's good to go, and per your request, today we're gonna to see how the elephant guns do against it. We're gonna start out with the smaller of the two elephant rifles. This is the CZ 550 chambered in 458 lot. And I think we should go ahead and start out with our best chance of penetration. And that's a Nosler 500 grain brass solid. But before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Sonoran Desert Institute for sponsoring today's video. If you've ever been interested in a career in the firearms industry, you need to check them out. They have lots of online classes, so they make it super easy for you. If you wanna check that out, swing over to sdi.edu for more info. I am gonna go with 18. 18 boards. Let's find out. Let me get uh, lined up here. And. Ooh. Ooh. Darn it! It shot out the side. None of the boards are cracked or anything like that, so we should be good. Take one more shot. Oh, no. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. So we have a new pine board box record. It made it through the entire thing. I've never had that happen before. Even with the 50 BMG, it got all squirrely and wouldn't stabilize and was shooting out the bottom of the box. This thing went through all of them, all 41 boards. So there's our first shot and there's the second shot. So the first shot, we come through here and I don't know if it's just the way I aimed or what, but it came down, hit here, then here, and broke more of the pine board box. And then, oh, there's a bunch of wood in my table. We took a bunch of wood with it and uh, went into the table. Our nice brand new eight foot table. We have a hole in it already. So anyways, we took our second shot. Second shot was coming through and it looks like it started to dip down and then it went back up, kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going, and then came all the way out the back. That is absolute insanity. 41 boards. I have to admit, I completely underestimated the 458 lot. I was expecting 18, 20 boards, but not all of the boards, that's nuts. I've never had that happen before. So I'm curious if the double barrel 500 Nitro Express can follow that up and do the same thing. I'm gonna be using the same type of round, a Nosler brass solid, but this thing is 570 grains. Boop. This may knock me on my butt. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> this thing kicks so hard. Well, we did it again. The 500 Nitro Express went through every single one of them. There's where we hit, and it just kept going through, going through, going through. It dipped down a little bit, and then stabilized and just kept going straight. It came all the way out the back. I didn't think that I would ever have to build another pine board box because I assumed that 41 boards would be enough, but, uh, Apparently not. Okay, so we know that with brass rounds in the elephant rifles, you're gonna get 
extreme penetration. But now let's see what happens when we use a lead round. So this is a Hornady DGX 500 grain, 458 lot. Let's see how many boards we make it through. So my first prediction with the 458 lot was way off. But if I would have made the same prediction this time, I would have been pretty close. So we hit right there and we made it through a total of about 20 boards and we stopped on number 21. There's the round right there. And it's not very hot. 20 boards is the number to beat. Let's see how the 500 Nitro Express does. Again, I have the same round. This is a Hornady DGX, but instead of 458 lot, it's 500 Nitro Express. And instead of 500 grains, it's 570 grains. Oh my gosh. So it looks like we had the same results, but a little bit different. 500 Nitro went through 20 boards, just like the 458 lot, but when it smacked board number 21, it was sideways and it still had a lot of energy, so much so that it cracked the board in half and it just completely wrecked shop coming through here. These boards are all jacked up. Now for the real question, how many boards can I make it through? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. That's five. I. Mm, Gotta commit, right? Seven boards. I don't know. Ow, ow. That really hurt. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. There's not any other rounds at the moment that I wanna test against the pine board box, but I'm up for your suggestions. Is there anything else you wanna see me shoot into the pine board box? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.